Hey everybody, we are teaching Sculptor VR, and this episode is all about two tools that are very closely related. We're on our third bank of tools down the side here, and we're going to talk about the first and the last, the Puck and the Taurus tools. Puck and Taurus, not filthy words, not an English pub, but ways of drawing and carving in our Sculptor VR. So both of these tools, Puck and Taurus, we got to be careful in this episode, they're both our standard create and carve. Puck, you can see it's a disc shape. We make the diameter larger and smaller. The thickness is going to be the same either way. Puck tool. It's going to be whatever material and color on whatever layer you're using right now. Sliding your thumb up and down will create the larger or smaller puck. The last one on that row is torus. And the only difference between a puck and a torus is a torus is hollow. It's like a donut shape. But the same thing, I can use my thumb to make it bigger and smaller, and it's always going to have roughly the same relative thickness. Now, when you draw with these tools, it is a freehand creation tool. So if I just hold the trigger down and move towards you, I'm actually creating a tube in freehand. If your hand is steady, you should be able to look right down that tube. If your hand isn't steady, you can see your tube might wobble a little bit. Also, with both Puck and Taurus, your computer processor, whether you're on a Quest, PSVR, or powered by a strong computer, that's going to determine how smooth, how quickly you can move to create these tubes. If you look at these closely, you can see there are gaps. You can see the different segments in the tube itself. If I move this tube or puck very slowly, you can see it's able to make it one long shape. If I move it too quickly, you can see how it starts to break up. The more your computer has to work, the more it's going to break up. Even though I'm a strong, on a strong, powerful PC, I'm also streaming this live. I'm also recording this for YouTube. I'm also showing it on extra monitors and things. So I can't move it as quickly without breaking up as if I had just the Sculptor VR running. If I move slowly, that's going to give your system enough time to make it one smooth line. Whether you're using the puck or the torus, moving it nice and slow will make you have a little more control. The faster you go, the more it's going to break up. So you can see I'm getting only a few rings at a time if I'm moving way too quickly. So the puck and the torus, freehand, painting tools, creating tools, but they're also carving tools. So if I start off this with a nice landscape, let's start this off. We're going to give ourselves a nice new mountain landscape. Not only can I use this to create, but I can now go in with this puck tool or torus tool and I can carve. Nice, smooth swaths are being removed. I have a lot of control because I can move it disc ways, but I can also move it flat ways. So if I want to slice in a canyon, you can see the disc gives me a nice broad carving stroke so I can get these deep, narrow canyons created. Let's make sure you can see this. Or I can do the wide swaths to erase. And now I'll go in flat to smooth off that ceiling. We can then change the scale. Smooth off that ceiling a little bit more. I think I may be too high for you guys to see. Let's bring it down. Smoothing off the ceiling by playing with size and scale. Carving tool with a disc 
A lot of people find it easier to carve with a disc because you have a much broader, flatter surface to carve with. So whether you're doing carving or creating, puck or torus, now I can go in, you can see I can actually carve and drill these interesting holes or pillars. I can take section of wall and carve a pillar out of it. And now we'll go back to the puck, carve, strip away the parts I don't want around the pillar, carving or creating these are the tools that will give you those nice shapes to work with. Carve or create. Puck or uh, torus. If you want a nice straight smooth column, we'll look at some of the other tools that will give you actually a nice perfectly straight line. Puck and torus are specifically for freehand use. It can be used almost like a calligraphy pen because it's got that flat edge. So the way you move it will create different types of line. These are also very good for natural lines. If we're drawing trees or flowers, the nice round stem. Or if I have a larger block created, going in with things like the torus for carve, I can even move it slightly to make interesting corkscrews and things like that. Let's get an example, bring this in closer. And I'm going to corkscrew, doing a spiral staircase, a helix effect, using these tools. That can be, let's shave that out here, you can see what sort of weird little spirals and things we can create with these. That's a nifty little shape, only done with carving using these torus and puck tools. I hope this gives you some inspiration. These tools work with all of our colors as usual, all of our materials. These tools are layer dependent, so if you want to build things up out of many different shapes, make sure you're switching between layers. But otherwise, these are going to work just like you would expect it to. Let us know if these are helpful. Let us know if you have questions. We do these on a weekly basis here on YouTube slash Shameless Mayhem, but also on twitch.tv slash Shameless Mayhem. Let us know in the comments below if there are creations that you made that you particularly like and want to show off, or if there are questions about how to use the tools for particular effects and styles. We do these things weekly, so we'd love to see what kind of lessons you guys want to learn about. Thanks for joining me this time. This is Teaching Sculptor VR. Today we're using the Puck and Taurus tools. I look forward to seeing what you guys do. Have fun, everybody.